This is where I stayed last night, right across from a place called The Lodge, right here on Crescent Beach in White Rock, BC. And just waking up, thought I'd wake up early. That's right, it's uh, almost 10 a.m. <laughs> I just can't bring myself to wake up early. It was really quiet here last night. Matter of fact, it's actually a lot quiet, quieter right now. Um, there was some activity in the lodge last night and uh, a lot of kids laughing up until midnight. But after that, it was pretty quiet. Uh, gonna head to the beach now. <laughs> okay, looks like we're here. This is literally right around that corner. Oh, but there's no parking. It okay, looks like I'm gonna have to find another place to park. My backup camera, this is a, a weird a raindrop effect. I cannot see through it. I'm gonna have to go wipe my finger on it. Where I'm gonna park, it's interesting. The water surrounds us on three sides, so I'm definitely on like some sort of peninsula. This is where I parked all the way until 10 p.m. last night, and then I thought I should probably move so I don't get disturbed. I don't get disturbed with the dreaded knock. Here we are, and it uh, looks like there's pretty much just uh, people walking their dogs out right now. These two dog walkers are uh, talking to each other. Everyone is really friendly. As a matter of fact, I got out of my car, and I instantly got a smile from someone. It's just everyone's just so friendly. Notice here when you go to any of the stores in Canada, like especially the grocery store, everything is just uh, American products. You know, you've got uh, you know Post cereal, uh, all, uh, Kellogg's. You know, like all the same brands. Um, maybe there's a little bit of French writing on there, but for all intents and purposes, it's American. <laughs> it's America. <laughs> it's Americano. But uh, it's almost like an auxiliary colony that we have here where they are, you know, they call themselves, uh, you know, British, British Columbia, and they uh, hang the uh, maple flag on its flagstaff, um, but they seem like Americans, but they have different values, you know? Um, everything is the same as America, but I would like to find out what are these defining characteristics that make Canadians Canadians? <laughs> what makes them friendlier, happier than Americans? What is it? They love America. Um, I, I overhear people talking about American politics uh, all the time, and um, it's basically about America here. It's, it's an auxiliary, it's a colony almost, it feels like. All of the entertainment comes from America. Oh, I just saw some beavers. Oh, cool. Uh, so how do you guys feel about me doing nomadic fanatic commentary? Uh, get mixed reviews on us. Some people like it. Some people say, give it up. You know, nobody likes to see that. You're going to get more fans if you just uh, do your own thing. You know, something funny happened just to show that he's a con man. I was watching uh, Nomadic Stickers. He's got a great channel. Oh, pretty funny stuff. And uh, <clears throat> there was one part in it. Well, well, the whole thing is this premise that it's Thanksgiving Day, you know, and he's, he's preparing. He's making a Thanksgiving uh, dinner. And um, he keeps saying, you know, it's, it is Thanksgiving, you know, and he's got all the decorations and now he's making a turkey. Um, but in the very end of the video, it's exposed that it's actually November 12th. <laughs> and um, I guess he's doing this so it appears that there's no lag in his videos. Maybe. I don't know why he's doing it, but he's just lying about little things. If he's capable of lying of the little things like that, like, what, what else is he lying about, you know? It was just interesting that the whole premise of the video was faked. At, you know, it was November 12th, and he was claiming that it was, you know, Thanksgiving. So, what else is he capable of? He is a con man, right? You can point it out on these little things, like, what else is he lying about? You know what happened today? Someone informed me. I woke up this morning to a comment on YouTube saying, Hey, just subscribe. I'm your 3,000th subscriber. <laughs> I was like, whoa, dude, are you serious? I've, fi I've been trying to approach that number for the last two years. I've been stuck at 2,700 subscribers for that long. And I finally surpassed the 3,000 mark. So that is awesome, man. And, um, you know, I'm getting some great feedback about my channel. And uh, it turns out people like the humor aspect of it, which is a little bit much for me because now it's like I've, I feel forced to like, okay, put some comedic value into everything you do. So I don't know. We'll see what comes out of my channel. But uh, but thanks for the comments. Thanks for the subscribers and uh, subscribing and all that good stuff. Really do appreciate that. I remember uh, two years ago hitting the 2,000 subscriber mark. And uh, I was in the Target parking lot next to a gym, 24-hour fitness. And uh, I was in the back of my van, and I thought I would make a, uh, you know, 2,000 subscriber party, you know? And so I was actually in the back of my van singing a song, you know? And maybe I did a few takes of it, but uh, 
it was enough to uh, alert the parking lot security that someone was in the van and something weird was going on or something. What, because when I got, uh, like a half hour later, uh, when I got into the front of the van to drive away, there was a police squad, uh, squad car parked right at my van <laughs> and uh, just probably keeping an eye on me. So he didn't bother me or ask me what was going on, but pretty sure uh, they were alerted that something strange is happening in the back of a van in the parking lot. So... That was, uh, maybe I should find, you know, find that footage and uh, post it right now. That was uh, my 2,000 subscriber mark. So uh, now we're up to 3,000 subscribers. What am I gonna do? Should I do a polar bear uh, ice walk into the water here? I don't know, leave a comment. Time to do some hunting and gathering. I've got breakfast on my mind. May the false be with you and also with you. There are no places to eat around here. There's about five they're restaurants meters. and they're all closed. I look for fast food and uh, you're not gonna find it out here. That's at least 20 minutes away. Could that be the reason people are so healthy here? Because they're eating home cooked meals and not crappy fast food like I do? Maybe. Ooh, I want that pink Range Rover. Hey, it looks like there is one place open. It's the Sunflower Cafe. Get some coffee, get some eggs. Oh, who's that across the way there? Oh, hey, sir, at the window, can I help you? Well, that's one handsome looking fella. Hey there. A little bit hot in there, so I got this to go, some scramble, and the guy's getting me the utensils. So I've been in the back here for the last couple of hours editing some videos, and uh, <laughs> look what the front looks like here. It's because I turned on the Mr. Buddy heater to get a, get a little bit of warmth, but uh, yeah, it just fogs it up really quickly. And I think I'm gonna go for a walk out on Crescent Beach. I've got my trash, and there is a trash can out here, so I'm gonna empty my shit, uh, you know, just trash, uh, around the place, and just kinda clean it up, and go for a walk. I need some air. And uh, all this editing is killing my batteries, man. I'm down to 12.2, so, and it is completely cloudy, so maybe need to drive around, get the battery isolator going. Well, I guess this is all I'll be thrown away because this is all I can fit in this small trash opening. This little critter, his days are numbered. Just walking along the beach. Hey, want to see how far I've walked so far? Way over yonder. And I will tell you, I am so happy that I have these boots. My brother had these just sitting in the closet. They're a size 10 and it's a miracle. They actually fit really well. They're waterproof. And best of all, they're breathable. <laughs> my uh, Timberland boots did not breathe and my feet would get all sweaty and stinky and nasty. Start for a watch at Bayward. Well, I'm just sitting here minding my own business. Uh, look at this cute dog that comes up. All right, back to answering YouTube comments. Thanks guys, love those comments. <laughs> oh my God, I feel really foolish, so <laughs> I just, Pulled up uh, Google Maps and went to this restaurant. Had pretty good reviews. The Seahorse Grill, and uh, I was the only one in there. And it was all candlelight. And I it, instantly I realized I made a mistake. But she sat me down, and I looked at the menu, and they're like twenty nine dollar plates for their entrees. And I was like, oh my god. So I just it was so embarrassing. I said, I, you know, I'm sorry. Um, I'm actually on a budget. <laughs> And uh, and got out of there. So that was embarrassing. I need to go find a place that's a little more affordable. I'm not into fine dining right now. I just need to fill my belly. Uh, but I will take advantage of this big dumpster right here. Because I'm in Canada, it's considered roaming on the T-Mobile account. Even though it's an unlimited account, uh, they throttled me down to 16K, down from 200. So it's like at a snail's pace. I can't even watch a YouTube video right now. So that's why I'm taking advantage of the Wi-Fi here. I'm going to upload a YouTube video. And, and then I'm gonna eat uh, a cheap dinner. And this is so frustrating. There's a Starbucks right there, and I use my laptop right here, and I can't get the signal for the Wi-Fi, so I bring it right here, and I can connect perfectly. So I hit it under this towel, and I'm gonna go across the way. There's a subway over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat fresh and eat cheap. Damn, I was just uploading some videos, and I just got dissed by Starbucks. <laughs> Just gonna try the new go live feature of YouTube too, too. and uh, I uploaded some Patreon only content. Look for that, guys. My Patreon subscribers. 
Uh-oh, looks like we got an empty parking lot here. I've been editing, editing videos in the back of the van. It's time to go find a place to park for the night. Thanks for watching, guys. Click that subscribe button. It's easy. Just do this, that little clicky thing. It only takes a second. Literally.